What's up everyone? So for today's video, I'm going to update you guys on the antenna. So some people were asking me on stubby antennas, whether they work, and I'm gonna clear that up in this video. I've had two now, so I think I can confidently say that the majority of them, um, I know how they perform and what kind of reception you get with them. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'll show you guys a real world example of the one that I have on my vehicle. And uh, I'll also show you, I guess, what's stock what I have on there and I'll show you the reception on that vehicle now. Okay, so it's not this vehicle. This one actually has the integrated antenna into the rear window, which is kind of nice. They didn't uh, bother with doing anything else. So the antenna on this thing is integrated. doesn't have any nonsense there. But um, on this truck, <coughs> it, I installed one of these stubby antennas. This is an exceptionally small stubby antenna. I'll, uh, I'll tell you guys that much, it is a small one. It's probably about three inches, three and a half inches, somewhere around there. But that's what's on there. I've kind of, I wasn't anticipating it for it to be that small, actually. I kind of wanted it to be a little bit longer. The previous one I had um, was longer, but it ended up breaking off with some road debris that flew up and decided to hit it. But just as a comparison, like check out the difference in the stock one. This is the stock unit. It's this huge, long rod. It's pretty ugly but whatever you feel like that is, it's probably a good two feet long. Obviously the stock one works flawlessly without any issues, but um, it's not that aesthetic looking. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the truck and show you guys just kind of the reception that you guys can expect to get. And uh, <laughs> kind of spoiling it, um, I'll get into it. One of my pet peeves with this Uconnect 8.4 is it does take quite a while to boot up, but um, I'll give it a second here while it boots up. And we'll hit accept. All right, so it's already searched for my Bluetooth because that's kind of my go-to, but if we go, where is it? Where is radio? Radio, sorry. You can tell how much I use the radio. So this is like, a channel obviously right and if I click seek here's the result Hopefully you guys can see this there we go that's probably a better angle so we got two stations so far the first one was 92.3 that we were on you guys can see that there we go It didn't even find 92.3 that we were originally on. So there you go. It looks like we got one station. Let's try it one more time. And we're in an area that has quite a few stations, so it's not like we're in the middle of nowhere or anything. Yeah, so it looks like we probably only have one station. So there you go, guys. I hope that answers the question for you on the antenna. Like I said, it does look good, but definitely not the greatest for reception whatsoever. But just to recap, that's kind of what it looks like. And um, yeah, it uh, definitely doesn't do anything as far as reception, but just looks a little bit better. As a comparison, we'll go ahead and jump in the Jetta here just to show you how many local stations there are. And again, I don't really use the radio on this one either. Be kind of interesting to see what the startup is on this compared to the Uconnect because this thing has CarPlay and all that other cool stuff. I guess it's kind of comparable to be honest with you just to be fair. All right, so where is radio? I can't see. There you go, radio, so band. So there's that. We got all kinds of station, you guys. Like, oh, I don't know how to work this thing, you guys. But you can see just, just how many stations there are. So there is tons of stations here. Just, just the fact that the stubby antenna is a no-go, you guys. A no-go if you're trying to do 
trying to do radio stations. So definitely I would not recommend that one. I know there is some other ones that do in fact work, but um, that is not one of them. So there you have it guys. I hope you found this video informative. I know it was very brief, but I tried to keep it concise and to the point. Stubby antennas, the majority of them don't work. I know there is some on, you can find them on Amazon that have good reviews, they're a little bit longer. They're not quite that short um, and they probably do work, but um, for the most part, stubby ones, I wanna say any ones under five to six inches, they don't seem to work too well. One other thing that I kinda of wanna do for you guys is some people have taken the stock uh, antenna and they've actually chopped it and then they put the ball back on the top again. So I might try that just to see how that looks for you guys. Um, might be able to continue uh, keeping reception, but at the same time, make it look a little bit nicer and not have this huge you know, flagpole mass sticking out the top of the fender. So anyways guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and turn on that bell notification so you're notified of all the latest videos. And make sure uh, to check out the other videos if you're stopping by for the first time. Thanks again guys, take care, see you on the next video.